Hey guys, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn a little bit about how to add variables to arrays. We're going to keep learning about arrays probably one more tutorial, maybe two more tutorials after this one. Um, maybe even more. And oh, I call them arrays. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. We're going to be learning more about tables. Tables, tables. Like I said, in most programming languages, including Java, and Java is my main one, call them arrays. So I call a lot of I, I I will probably slip up and call them arrays a lot. But tables tables are a little different. I'm not gonna explain the difference. So how do we add variables to our table? I mean, there might be a point where we're like Actually, I need to throw another one in, but I don't need it then. I need to change it or something. It's a lot like regular variables, only uh, a little little bit different. Not much, but a little. So, we're going to print table 1. We don't need index table anymore. We're going to print table 1, and then table 1 equals... I'm in a table, or on a table, I guess would be better. Print table one. Okay, so table one, as we know, accesses the table, and for some reason the table looks like I spelled it wrong. But I think, I, I know I didn't, so whatever. So table one, or table opening square bracket one, um, closing square bracket, is also the name of the variable. And so we can index the variable and change its value, remove its value, use its value. Anything we could do with a variable of its type. And all we have to do is change up our naming process a little bit. So print table one. The first time we'll say, I'm a table. The second time, it should say, I'm on a table. Which is a little bit more exact and correct for our current situation. As we see, it printed, I'm a table. And then the second one, it printed, I'm on a table. Because scripting works from the top down. Your entire script will be read one time really quick by the computer, and then it'll go from the top down um, when it actually executes. The first time it reads, it's just getting a feel for the script and finding where everything is, and then this, it'll go again and actually read line for line and do as it says. So print table one, since it goes in order, it'll change its value and then print it again. So I hope that made sense. So that's all for this tutorial guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.